60 Minutes Rewind. With the understatement and subtlety that show business usually applies to such people, he is known simply as the Great One. At his height, he was the most watched man on television. And since television never dies but goes into endless reruns, he is still very much there to see. He is known more for the roles he's played than for who he is himself. We decided to find out just who the Great One is. Sure you haven't got any money. Uh, no, no. Right. It's against company rules. We'll play for fun. <laughs> <laughs> you were making extraordinary money, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 million dollars, uh, when 15 million dollars was real money. Uh, were those tough negotiations with CBS, getting that kind of money out of Mr. Paley? Well, the first one we had was for $11 million. And I had a terrible hangover. And I was at the table with all the agents, and we had lunch at uh, Paley's room. And uh, I fell asleep. And Paley said, well, if that's his attitude, give it to him. <laughs> so. Uh, a hangover work. You, you, you even hustled. Uh, you even hustled negotiations. Well, I didn't realize I was doing it. <laughs> but you've always lived, I'm told, uh, way over your head, even when you were wor earning a really big money. Well, I that, think everybody should make two fortunes: one to blow, to really live it up with, and then the other for security. But when you were spending, I mean, it was excessive. There were the Rolls Royces and the trains and the handouts and the. Uh, Almost, you, you well, I should have had more respect for money because I, I, I never had any. And I don't know why. And I also had no fear when I should have had fear. For instance, the way they used to uh, get you in television, they would get you to paint yourself into a corner of luxury. Then they would start to dictate because they knew that you feared losing that money. And uh, so you'd give up your independence and go along with them. It was, uh, it was threats to your security and kudos uh, to your ego. That's how they operated. If I were broke tomorrow, it would hurt for a while. But uh, I'd go back to living like I used to live. Would you like that one, pal? Tell me something. The Great One, where did that come from? Well, Orson Welles called me the Great One first. And then Lucy started to call me that. And uh, I'm really not offended by it. Did you ever really believe it? You just saw me play pool, didn't you? 